Hey again everyone. Uh, thanks for coming back to the channel and checking out my latest video. Um, this is going to be a little different to what I initially planned, but I um, felt like breaking up my series of um, top 10 YouTubers um, with something a little bit different uh, based on how I was feeling today. Um, today, all I want to do is um, share with you some quotes I have been, uh, well, I have seen tonight. I mean, some of them I've seen previously, but I've been um, looking them up uh, tonight, and they're on uh, quotes on, like, stress relief, um, and I've picked out my favourites and the ones that really inspire me the most. Um, this idea is um, inspired by a video that I saw by a content creator called Whispers Lily, who um, creates uh, ASMR uh, videos as her content. And ASMR in general is a subject I will definitely go into on a, well, at least one future video because ASMR is a really big thing to me. And uh, Lily is a great content creator. She's amazing at what she does. And yeah, th so this inspired, this, well, this idea is inspired, not to say it, this idea is inspired by her. Um, because she did a similar thing on her channel. Well, pretty much the same thing, but reading the uh, quotes out. But obviously, um, if you're familiar with ASMR in, you know, that style. Um, but obviously, this video won't be that. But I wanted to share these quotes with you anyway, and hopefully they will help you. Um, like they helped me. So okay, the uh, I'm just having a look now. The first one. I found, uh, and this, I think this one was featured, yeah, this one was featured on Lily's video as well, but the quote is, some of the secret joys of living are not found by rushing from point A to point B, but by inventing some imaginary letters along the way. And that was by Douglas Pagels. Um, I really love that quote because so often, especially in society as it is today, we're all in such a rush to just get to our next destination, get to where we are meant to be, and we're so caught up in the future, and we're so goal-oriented, and, like, focusing on what's going to happen, and, like, it's, it's a, you know, it is more like that in society now. Like, everyone is always looking to the future, um, always got you know, their vision there, and we miss out on so many great things that are there along the way, which are there to be appreciated, just really small, beautiful things that we can easily miss if we're just constantly thinking about what's next, uh, what's the next thing we're going to do, where are we going to go. Sometimes it's just better to just relax and appreciate things along the way and breathe, something as simple as that. Um, so yeah, that's the first one. Um, the next one is never regret. If it's good, it's wonderful. If it's bad, it's experience. Now that quote is by Victoria Holt. Um, yeah, something again, I, which, well, deeply resonates with me. Um, because obviously both of those things are going to happen. We will, hopefully anyway, experience wonderful things in our lives and also bad things. Um, but both play a role. Um, obviously the wonderful things are there to be enjoyed. Um, and anything that is bad we take it as experience and try our best to learn from it and minimize our mistakes or if it's something that's not in our control just try and take a little little lesson from it because i believe that no matter what happens in life no matter um 
how bad it is if you can drag a a lesson or some the smallest grain of positivity from it then that's i think that's such a big battle in life which is which can be overcome if like that is remembered because even the wor like when the worst things happen it's important to just remember good times as well and um there i truly believe there is always a positive not necessarily in the event but we can find a positive in the past or um yeah i hope that makes sense but um that is a a very good quote um i really like that one so the next one and this one really relates to me is um be better to do something imperfectly than to do nothing flawlessly now it's ironic that i just messed up at the beginning of that quote oh sorry that was also by um robert schuler um i love how i just messed up that entire thing the beginning of the quote and <laughs> forgetting to read the name of the um person whose quote that is but that actually ironically um goes with the point of the quote because me starting this channel right now um well not right now but obviously this week uh it it is far from perfect like i, I had a vision for what I wanted this channel to be and it is everything i've done on it and everything i will do on it like ever is fully me and i try and be well i i am fully open in who i am and what i want to convey um but this was not the perfect time at all for me to start this channel but just procrastinating and thinking about it forever you know i i just wanted to start it now and i know it's not going to be perfect but that is what this quote um displays that i mean it is better to do something imperfectly than to do nothing flawlessly and as a massive procrastinator myself i like i mentioned on my first video um i do i do so little because i want it to be perfect anything like something as simple as watching a movie um like if i'm not in the right mindset i just don't watch it and it's that it's dangerous because you you end up doing nothing like on big levels and on small levels too um so yeah that, that's why with this channel i've just gone for it um i'll be putting up videos every single day for well until the remainder of the until the end of the year at least um so yeah i deeply <laughs> agree with this uh quote and it's something that i'm trying to overcome because there's still a lot so many things in my life i just put off and don't do because i can't do it perfectly um but sooner or later um i hope i realize fully inside that it's exactly what it is it's better to do obviously something imperfectly than nothing flawlessly which i'm great at by the way <laughs> the nothing flawlessly thing but um yeah so the next quote um check it out i haven't read um any of these already okay um so the next one is laughter is the only medicine without side effects and that's by shannon l alder and yeah um that is very true and laughter is my go-to it's my thing um well it's, i guess it's everyone's i say like it's exclusive to me but it's universal it's it's a gift and i still now like no matter what i can still have a day where i'm just so happy and la and laugh so much and it's something that despite everything i've been through any pain i'm in right now emotional physical because i've been afflicted with both and and i'm 
you know, um, right now, but laughter is is an amazing thing and it's important just to just to allow it to happen as much as possible like you know laughing out loud um sometimes it's obviously a lot more natural than other times like sometimes when i laugh i you know really find it hard to stop but other times like i will just i'll find something funny and i won't necessarily uh laugh out loud but i'll still kind of push myself there if that makes sense because I, I like to laugh and it is important and I do think it helps your state of mind in general just just humor is is a, such an amazing tool and I think it can it is an important thing in anything like it even in the worst things in life I think humor can be injected to it in a way um not always um directly but it, humor can always be there in a sense um and there are all, all well, there are always funny things to find, like how I can't seem to string a sentence together today, for example. So, um, next, um, let me have a look. Okay, so the next one is he is richest who is content with the least, for content is the wealth of nature. Now, this quote um, obviously talks about how we should be appreciative of the smaller things. Um, and no matter how many riches we have in terms of finances or anything else, um, just appreciating what we do have however small it is or however few things we have um not necessarily material obviously but just being able to appreciate those things makes us rich in a way like if you can truly appreciate the beauty and the the great things in life and the things that are free especially just you know like nature itself um then you are, in a sense, rich already because you can see the good in the world and the beauty in the world, and and it is everywhere if you if you look for it. Um, if you just allow yourself to see it, you you can see it any time. It's there. There's always beauty in the world. It's just hard to see it through through um, negativity, but it is always there. Um, and it is there if you truly want to see it, I do honestly believe. Um, okay. Um, yeah, I like this one because it is like a, a quote based on music, which is amazing to me. It is my, well, music saves me every single day. But yeah, this is the quote. Um, you need songs that make you feel. Some make you string. Some make you weak. I just realised. I've totally read that. I copied that quote. I copied that quote. From um, this website. And they spelt strong wrong. So now I'm going to start again. Reading this quote. <laughs> And do it correctly, and yes. So this is the actual quote. It doesn't involve string at all. You need songs that make you feel. Some make you strong. Some make you weak. Some build determination. Some tear you apart. But you need all of those to run through the pain. That one is by Jessica Park. Um... But yeah, I, I, I mean, music is a universal thing. I don't think there's anyone, I don't think there's a single human being who said he dislike music. I mean, maybe they're not. Some people aren't as interested in it as others. That's definitely true. But I don't know how anyone could actually dislike it. So it's it's that universal thing. It's that universal language that we all speak, well, can communicate through. And... Um, 
yeah, it's music can touch me in so many different ways, and it's such a healer. It's such an amazing thing. It, it's you know, it's one, it's one of those things where it can't really be described, but it's just an incredible thing, and the gift of music is just amazing. There are so many musical artists that save me every single day just by sharing their gift with the world, and I will for sure be doing a lot of videos about music because it is it's my life, so yeah. Um, I like that quote for paying tribute to music in general. Okay, this next quote is that goes like this. Um, God gave us the grace to accept with serenity the things that cannot be changed, the courage to change the things that should be changed, and the wisdom to distinguish the one from the other. And that's by Reinhold Nebuhr. I think I've said that right. I've probably completely butchered his name. But, um, yeah. Uh, that is true, um, I believe. Um, and it's something I always think about. There are certain things that we can't change, and there are certain things that we can. And... Sometimes we confuse those and we put too much energy into trying to solve problems that can't be solved or things that just can't be changed. And we neglect the things that we can change and think that we can't, but we actually can. And I, I think that a big battle in life is knowing the difference between just things that can be altered and things that can't. Because what is the point in wasting energy and time and thought on things that you can never change. While there are things out there, there are always things you can change in your life. Always. No matter what predicament you are in. You are always in control to an extent. And if you recognise the things that you can change about your life, then I think that that is half the battle won already. And then the rest of it is obviously acting on those things and making differences and yeah, changing for the better. If needed. Hmm. Um. Well, I was maybe going to do a couple more quotes, but I think that considering this has nearly run for 20 minutes, which doesn't surprise me because when I do these videos, spur of the moment, well, more spur of the moment than usual, even though they all kind of are, so I don't know what I'm talking about. But yeah, anyway, I like to ramble, as you may have noticed. Um, I... I'm not editing any of the stuff out of this video, uh, any of the mistakes I made. I don't know, um, yeah, call it sleep deprivation, <laughs> the reason for me, um, kind of messing up a few times in this one, but I'm leaving it in because imperfections, that's the reason, and it ties back to that quote I mentioned earlier about doing something imperfectly, yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'll I'll wrap this up here, and uh, I hope you enjoyed my randomness. I love quotes, and I'll probably do more videos on these in the future on different topics, maybe. Um, but yeah, I will be uploading the rest of my top ten YouTubers series over the course of uh, well the next few weeks, um, well it might not even take that long, I mean I have seven parts left, but yeah, I will continue doing those, but maybe occasionally break it up with a video like this. So any feedback as always, uh, good or bad, it's all equally important to me and all equally welcome. So thanks again so much for watching this video, and yeah, I'll hope to see you all again soon. Bye everyone.